Hey everyone, I'm Phil, of course, welcome to the FGC Wrap-Up, where I cover all the fighting game news that happened last week. Starting off this week, Guilty Gear Strive gave us a rough estimate of when their next characters are going to be, and that's going to be March and May of 2023. A lot of people have already uh, found some leaks online where they think they know who the characters are. I'm hoping that's not the case, because I would like some different ones, but regardless, uh, you can go find the information if you want, but hey, at least we know we're going to get the characters in the first half of the year. The second Mario movie trailer came out, and there was some Smash Bros. inspired uh, uh, themes in there. There's one point where Mario pretty much is facing Donkey Kong, and it looks like he's doing his forward air. Um, Donkey Kong then whoops his rear end. However, uh, I don't know. This looks super sick. Uh, I wasn't really super hyped for this movie, but seeing all the other characters outside of Mario makes me want to see it more. Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 have announced they will be making appearances at the Game Awards this year, but that's not going to be said for NetherRealm Studios. A lot of the YouTubers out there and other content creators have been uh, thinking they have pieced things together where they're going to have this big announcement at the Game Awards this year, and I, uh, sadly, Ed Boon came out and tweeted that it is not happening. We are still waiting for a new game from NetherRealm Studios. I, um, you know, I gave up on hope waiting, and then it, when it happens, it just happens, because I just don't expect it at this point. Street Fighter X also announced they're doing another closed beta. You can go sign up for that right now if you want. So make sure you go to Capcom website and sign up. Let's find out if we can get more people in there. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle Royale R? I, I'm never going to get that name right. Had a minor balance update. Um, I, some people think it's uh, to put some stuff in there for the next DLC characters. Um, but regardless, I'm happy JoJo's fans are getting some support. Uh, it was kind of light on the Bandai Namco sign of uh, support this year. Dragon Ball Fighters did have a minor... Um, a re-announcement this week where there was a Dragon Ball Battle Hour and they announced that uh, the rollback netcode was something they were working on. Uh, pretty much the same exact announcement that we got at EVO. They came out and said officially this time where it was in the Battle Hour, not just at the end of EVO. So is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know if I'm going to be completely frank with you. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, I I wasn't expecting uh, rollback with fighters anytime soon and people that were hoping for it like immediately. Ugh, uh, don't expect it. Dean of Duel finally has some content coming for us. The Spectre will be the next character that joins the DNF Duel game. Uh, they also announced that they're going to have adjustments for all the characters, and I mean all of them in some way. Adjustments and specifically buffs for everybody, and they're adding DNF Duel to the Switch. That was a neat little thing. No announcements for crossplay yet, but... Um, I don't know, we're going to find out. Is this a little bit too late? It's been like six months. Uh, but uh, for DNF Duel fans that are still playing, rocking out, enjoy. And uh, let's see if we can get some more characters. Because uh, halfway through the year, um, half, no, well, six months of the year have passed and nothing. So this better be big. And lastly is the drama that's going on with Nintendo's Panda Global in the Smash World Tour. So for those who don't know, the Smash World Tour was a tournament series that was going to be happening uh, starting in December. And in fact, it would have been beginning of this week, I believe. Um, that was supposed to be happening, and those people were working with Nintendo. That is, I believe, VGC Bootcamp and uh, Gimmer, I think is who it was. They were working with Nintendo, and it seemed like things were going great. Um, unbeknownst to many people in the community, Panda Global um, had their head, CEO, uh, whoever's in charge of the company, have been kind of like strong arming others. TOs throughout the year at locals and other regional events. Uh, this was unbeknownst. Not many people knew about this, and that's what pretty much was happening behind the scenes. Um, well, Panda Global, the people with this guy who did this, more or less uh, made a deal with Nintendo where they were going to be the official Smash Bros. tournament scene. Right? So a bunch of weird stuff went down where, in a nutshell, the Smash World Tour got a message from Nintendo saying, no, stop you're not allowed to do this anymore or said language in the way that they would get resistance if they continued with their tournament they made the decision to cancel the event and because of that um twitter did its thing and everyone uh voiced their opinion on this so much so that nintendo responded um nintendo responded and said that's not what we said and then smash world tour came out and said well that is what you said then finally panda global came out and said something as well um pretty much saying we, we, this wasn't us uh so this whole aspect has been the talk of the town the entire week um i'm gonna link all of the stuff that you can go read yourself 
but in a nutshell this is pretty big uh this has caused a lot of people to look into their opinions of how they see nintendo how they see about uh, esports and it's a bad thing to be completely frank like this we need esports to evolve not get shit on so but if you want more information link below and uh go gain your own opinion on it really busy week and i tried to cover everything but if i missed something make sure you at me on twitter or hi i'll try to cover in next week's video as well and it's time for the FGC TikTok video of the week, and it's time for Puffer McSparkleface. And he covers my main in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's why I'm covering him this week. But he does a series on every character in the game, and not only Smash characters, he's trying to cover everything. He has a very unique series, and I highly recommend you go follow him and give him some support. And that's going to do it for this week. For those who don't know, I'm over on TikTok, where I have an FGC TikTok account. Make sure you go follow me over there. If you like the video today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Dylan, of course. I'll talk to you guys soon.